the bunny rabbit. She's scary, Freddy. Where's the bunny going? What's happening, Freddy? What's happening, Freddy? Where did your friend go? It's really good news, Freddy. Not helpful. This they are helping. This really isn't helpful. I'm trying to put hay in for the peas. You do morning chores with the kitty cats. It's afternoon chores. Yeah, I think it's afternoon chores. Here, have a coffee. <laughs> no, that's Daddy's coffee. It's not mine. Mine's gone. Where are you going, Freddy? Where are you going, Freddy? Boys just as a chicken, aren't you, boy? How your bees doing, Bridget? Well, they were rescued swarms. So, Late in the season. Yeah. So they weren't very big to begin with. And uh, they didn't have queens, we had to buy them queens and hope that they were laying eggs. And this box did have eggs and it does have a queen and it was growing. Um, are they all right? Having trouble with keeping the snow off this so that they get enough air. I have to scrape all the snow off this because it just piles up. I try. Yep. And, I keep the snow on top for insulation. Yeah. I scrape this off, and I can hear them all now. Hello, George. I can hear them all now. This box. This box was a small colony. Um, I couldn't find a queen, and there weren't any signs of eggs. And um, I can't hear them. And when I look down here, oh it's no, just loads of dead bees. Dead bees. So, I don't know that they're very... So 50%... I can hear them. Can you? Where? Can you hear to the... Yeah. Oh, still alive. Oh, excellent. Why are they something to feed them? They well, might... They just freeze and die in the winter. But should this be so many freezing and dying? Sorry? There shouldn't be so many freezing and dying. Not keeping enough warmth. Yeah, because it's a small box. That one's a double box. That's why people in Nova Scotia run double boxes. Georgie's so helping. So we didn't have enough bees to fill this box. Georgie's helping. My concern is this, that there's no mouse guard on here. There's a chance that the mice could get in here. Thank you very much, George, for your assistance. So <laughs> I think we should try and, you should try and get that. Close it up. Close that up. But you might have to unscrew it, unscrew it back on again. But there shouldn't be more than. What do you mean you think it's alive? Because that's a lot of dead bees there. Well, you haven't got. To get, you've only got to get queen in a cluster through the winter. We can find them next. And we're going to have a bee garden next well, we year. Haven't opened them up because it's been too cold too to feed them. They don't. They could be hungry. Yeah, they could be. We only have one fondant to use. We can cut one fondant in half. We can't. Yeah. Definitely need a bee garden in the spring. <laughs> Doing? You're kind of covered in snow, George. On the beehives. Freddie's come to see. Doing the inspection. He's like a gargoyle, isn't he? Bye, Fred. Are you coming, George?
Marcus is just digging out the trailer. We have some discards from our local food supplier. He's emptying the snow out. So just update me, what are you doing? Um, just rolling the fondant out, I suppose. For the bees. So you've got baker's fondant, so icing, uh, solid icing. icing. Yeah. Yeah. And what are you doing with it? Explain. So anyone else, um, any other teenage girls that will go feed their bees, what are they going to do? Well, I'm going to cut them in half. Yeah. Split between the two hives. Yeah. In the middle drawer. Of what? Yeah. I'm going to the dough, I suppose, the fondant, in half, Yeah. and roll them both out into squares. Yeah. A couple inches thick, I reckon. Yeah. Clean film it. Yeah. And then cut like that. Okay. So they can get to it. Wicked. Yeah. It's cold. Is it cold, Eddie? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. So I'm reveling doing the chores this morning with the girls and Marcus, it's his last day of freedom before he's back to work. He's had two weeks off and uh, they say the one thing you can't buy is time. Um, but being here and being self-employed and this is the only time he's ever had two weeks off and it's amazing. This is why we moved here, you know, that balance of work life to rather earn less to actually have more family time and do the things you love. Got little Freddy down there. You right, Freddy? Freddy in the snow? I get easily distracted, don't I? Hello, chickens. Morning, chickens. Oh, there's a Freddy. Freddy's scaring you. Hello. You trying to make it to the shed? You know that's where the food's kept. It's a little squirrel that keeps poking his head through the fence. So Bridget insulated the chicken coop just before Christmas. And, um, well, actually a couple of weeks before Christmas, I want to say, but we, they've not got around to putting the board up and it's got the plastic up, but obviously it needs its ceiling, so. Did, didn't have the board, this came from that pile of pallets. Pile of pallets, that's it. Mark needs to go and restock his pile. So, uh, chicken ceiling going up. Are they going to get a chandelier? Oh my love You're such a fragile There's a chicken in the nest box saying, what's happening? He's like, what's happening? You're getting a ceiling, chicken. You're getting a ceiling. It's a gander. My favourite. You know my love About the cold just yet. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed. Snow plows being through. <laughs> nice little bit there. To shelter from pain. And 
Frozen. The pigs will soon defrost that. <coughs> Bridget's mucking out. I'm looking forward to having the new barn and the piggies in the new barn so we can access them a bit better. Marcus made them a little carpet door swing. Stand, tuck him in too, Marcus. Right, I'll put my hat off at that on one of them. <laughs> so it's working really well with the rabbits in here this winter. We're loving it. So they will go into the barn when we build the barn. They like it, and the chickens get underneath and scratch around and get their droppings. doing blueberry are you helping yourself is this self-service oh, is this self-service <laughs> freddie if you come in here the rooster's gonna attack you again yeah freddie stay away from the rooster mate the rooster like you. he looks really confused <laughs> what is this place <laughs> it's not mouse donald's no freddie it's not mouse donald's What are you planning? I think we just poured in this bit and leave that open. I think it's pretty, it's a shame to cover it up. <laughs> so here we're deciding or trying to decide whether we want to board in the back um, because there's absolutely no snow there and obviously if it was blizzardy and whatnot it could very well go there. But um, also we want to leave it open as much as possible so that things can season in there. But the reality is it's probably hardwood going to, going to go in there at the beginning of the summer anyway. Um, and we have our seasoning piles outside. We're trying to weigh out whether we want to put add more boards here or whether there'd be better use making a compost bin or the personnel gates for the vegetable garden. So yeah, jury's still open. Pushing? Is that for everyone? <laughs> Who wants this one? I'm not sure how safe you are. Let's take the other one. 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 Let's take the other one.
Have you had one? Come on. Are you still eating one? That's greedy. Uh, <laughs> You've got one. You've got one. Who's had two? <laughs> what are you up to? Do you know? You're no. just, just wearing a bee suit. Uh, I'm just waiting for Bridget. Is she going to feed him? I don't know. <laughs> Because both of these uh, bee swarms were rescue missions at the end of the season, Bridget and Marcus are choosing to feed the bees, even though it's probably not the best weather, um, just in the hopes that they can get them through the winter. They're definitely broken. He was attacking George's tail out the hole. <laughs> Yourself. Wow. Well, you've got a window, Fred. Actually, that was the door. You turned it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Homemade egg custards. You've excelled yourself, Mark. So this is the right hand side of our woodshed. We're actually getting through the little stuff. We still haven't really touched the main stack of hardwood that we actually bought. So it's all right, Not isn't really. it? Yeah. It's good, I'm pleased with that. And we've got the wood outside, so I feel a bit more wood secure this year. Yeah, <laughs> and if we get the planks on the other, the other side, then we can get all these bits of pallet and stuff out. Yeah, so, tidy it up. Yeah. It's all good. Less makeshift, more like intended. Yep. Oh, is there a cat up there? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing up there, Freddie? <laughs> I got a push. Yeah. What are you 
doing up there as well? What are you doing? Is this your new camp? You're bedding down with my washing line that I couldn't use because it was too humid this year. There's his little camp. Best help with Marcus before I get told off for slacking.